Hello folks, the other day we got a new event for Dying Light 2 being a crossover with The Walking Dead. The reactions have been extremely mixed, with the bundle that released alongside the event now working for many PlayStation players, even when the purchase goes through. Not only that, but the recent Tencent partnership has made a lot of people upset with Techland, bringing this somewhat hesitant energy into the community. Tencent, for those that don't know, has been associated with games that bring on a lot of microtransactions to say the least. So it's uncertain how far Techland will go in the future. The main topic for today was originally just that, but now a new issue has risen. And that's Techland falsely advertising in a recent trailer for the new event bundle. I'm here to clear the air on some things that honestly were not communicated very well, and led to a lot of assumptions within the community. For $8, you get a new bundle with a Rick Grimes outfit, paraglider, and some new weapons, and that's all shown within the trailer. The final weapon, though, being Negan's knife, shows off a variety of new stylish animations that feel very different from what we have now with regular knives. So, once they go out of their way to go buy it and go test it out, thinking they're gonna get something super cool and unique, they realize that the animations are just the same ones we've been using for over a year. Something important that most people haven't seen yet is Techland's response to all of this backlash. A community manager at Techland stated that the knife animations are coming. It's just they'll be in the next update whenever that may be. It was said they weren't there for the event because they wanted to polish them up as much as possible. But man, it only would have taken one line of text at the bottom of the screen to let people know ahead of time they won't be in the bundle at its launch. Hopefully it's a lesson learned because the backlash was pretty notable. I am excited for the new animations though, but I really would love to see the weapons we already have get more of a swing variety, you know? Honestly, with how many things they've already fixed in this past year, they may be asking for too much, but it'd always be nice to see. Anyways, though, that's gonna be all for me for today. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to join my Discord, support me on Patreon, or just simply like the video, subscribe if you want, and sub by next time. Peace.